Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about different apps and softwares I use on a regular basis for my designing work. Let's say for client work or to use it in my college. So these are the apps and softwares I use every single day and I can't live without. I have jotted down six different such apps which I use every day and I'm going to be talking about what I use it for, how I use it, how often do I use it and in which device I use these apps individually. So let's get into the video. Number one is Adobe Illustrator. Obviously this is my go-to app for anything. A lot of people were surprised when I had shown that I designed my thumbnails on Illustrator as well. Uh, the thing is I started using Illustrator first and then I got in so used to it that I forget how powerful Photoshop is for image editing and creating thumbnails that I use, I use everything and I do everything on Illustrator. A lot of my friends make brand presentations on Canva or they make presentations on like, like Keynote and all but I use Illustrator for every single thing. Let's say logo design or even like doing posters. Illustrator works really really well because it's a vector based software so no matter how much you zoom into the shapes and elements you create there won't be any blur and you'll get the highest quality of design work in Illustrator. So I've gotten really used to it and if you want to know how I learned Illustrator there's this guy called GFX Mentor on YouTube. He teaches Illustrator, Photoshop and that's where I learned my Illustrator from. Okay, so the next one we have is Photoshop. I don't really use Photoshop that much but uh, it's very very helpful when I have to do some image retouching maybe like to create mockups, not to create mockups but basically to add designs to the mockups which I download from online resources. Photoshop is really really helpful with that. For example, if there is any mistake in any design, if I have to remove any watermark or if I have to just duplicate some images or just retouch some images, I use Photoshop and mainly my use is uh, for packaging mockups if I have a client for like let's say, let's say like a cookie food brand packaging. So I'll design the thing on Illustrator but I use Photoshop to create those mockups. Next up the list is an app which y'all are not really familiar with but a lot of you must be knowing it. It's called Notion. It's basically like a productivity app or tool where you put all your uh, to-do list and your dashboards and just basically your life summed up into small charts and tables and notes. That is Notion and honestly I, I started using Notion like two three months ago and it has completely changed my life. I have put all my all my budgeting, all my dashboard, all my YouTube script, even right now what I'm talking is there on this Notion app only. And the best part about Notion is it's available on all devices. Like it's there on my iPad, it's there on my phone, my laptop, and it's everything is synced. If I just want to add like a to-do list from my phone, it will register it on my iPad and laptop as well. I don't need to every time open my laptop to register something. So yeah, and it has a lot of layouts and templates. For example, if you are trying to start an online business, so Notion is a place where you can put your entire business. If you have uh, employees or interns, you can put them, you can put their names, you can put how much uh, money you have paid to them, uh, what was their joining date, and everything is just very, very organized in this app and your life becomes very organized. So I would definitely tell you guys to download this and it takes some time to learn Notion because it's thoda not very easy to go to but when you uh, learn it on YouTube, just go on YouTube and search how to start with Notion, how to beginners course on Notion. Do three video they close and then you are good to go and then you can figure out things on your own. So this is a highly recommended app. Uh, the next one is Procreate. All of you must be familiar with this app. Procreate, it's not free. It's for like 900 rupees, but it's just like a one-time purchase and it's definitely worth investing in this. If you have an iPad and you don't have a Procreate, I don't know what you are doing on your iPad. I'll just show you my Procreate files. So I have made like different stacks of work. Like there is my college work, then there is my friends work also then there is animation work then there is client work so if you open client work look at the amount of work i have done on procreate yeah it 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 is really a lifesaver because a lot of times uh, a lot of us don't have pen tablets and if you want to do any like sketching or strokes or add anything to our designs uh, we can't do it because we just have a mouse and keyboard but procreate solves that problem it's it replaces your sketchbook and to like a digital book where you can do any sketches you can for example this logo which i created 
Creamy Fire wasn't possible with just a mouse and keyboard. I needed that uh, that flowy thing. I needed that flow element which I couldn't make it with the pen tool. And yes, you can do all this with normal sketchbook and pencil. And I used to do that for a long time. But after using Procreate and after using iPad, uh, I've just uh, stopped using my sketchbook. I don't know why. Maybe should get back to my sketchbook. But it's just very flexible. You can erase things. You can use it. Like the possibilities are endless. So if you have an iPad, this is definitely a must have app in your iPad and it's just for 900 rupees so please buy that okay i think the video is going too fast it's gonna end in like five minutes but the fifth app i have is again an ipad app it's called notability i'm not sure if it's there on my iphone uh, but it's definitely there on my ipad and the icon looks something like this so notability is an app where obviously the name suggests you take notes and this has taken and, and note taking in this app is like a game changer because if you have an iPad, you know all the features of an Apple Pencil, like double tap to switch to eraser, two finger tap to uh, like undo it. And these are all the benefits which is supported with this app. So these are all the notes which I have taken like, so whenever I have a client call, I open this app instantly and I just note down everything they are saying, everything I need to keep in mind. And basically just putting all of that which is told me or everything that's my in my head into these notes app. So you, then you can also share it as a PDF and it's just very, very convenient when you're taking down notes. So this is also, I use this app like every single day and it's very, very helpful. The last and final app is something you would not be expecting, but uh, it's actually a phone app. Yeah, there it is. That's the app. It's called What the Font. And yeah, basically this app is to recognize fonts in the real world. For example, if you are somewhere outside, you see a billboard or you see a signages, uh, which has a specific font and you just want to know what typeface or what font is that you're very curious or you had placed a bet with your friend that you will recognize that because since you are a designer so this app solves it when you open it it instantly starts with a camera and let's let's test this right now so I have my mat uh, I'm just gonna click a picture uh, instantly it recognized wait instantly it recognized the fonts which in my within my picture so um, the, the thing I like about this app is there are softwares like this on in the internet where you upload the image and you check the fonts but this is just very convenient it's in your phone and you just click a picture and you check the font and when I go for it it's, it's gonna show me results see here are the results of the font. This font which I have, yes, it's correct, it's Baskerville. So this is very, very handy, especially for uh, graphic designers, young designers like me, who are very, very interested and excited to know what fonts are being used in the real world. So download this app, it's called What The Font. And yeah, these are basically the six apps which I use every single day as a logo designer, as a graphic designer. There are a lot of browser-based apps which I use for my mockups, fonts and all, but that's gonna be another video. These are the apps which I have installed on all my devices and I use it every single day. Hopefully you guys found this video valuable and useful and yeah, if you have any of these apps or if you have downloaded all of them, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.